Hello and welcome to Galileo Search, where finding the right database for your research is simpler than ever. The improved Galileo Search databases by subject and type lists have been simplified for easier browsing. The new database search allows users to search for appropriate databases by name, subject, or keyword. And, by popular demand, Galileo has retained an alphabetical list of databases for browsing as well. The new database search provides a clearer, easier to read results list and faceted subject and type lists to help researchers more easily narrow their search for the, per for the perfect database. Additionally, our database descriptions were improved, making it easier to review and evaluate databases when you're making a decision about where to search. We have refined the overall number of databases. Note that many of the individual collections that were once listed from the Digital Library of Georgia may now be found by searching the collections on the Digital Library of Georgia site. I will now demonstrate the databases by subject and type lists and the database search. I will begin by scrolling down to the databases by subject area. In this scenario, I need a database to help me find resources for my American Let paper on Poe. So I go down to the databases by subject area. I see a short list, and I also see the number of databases available in each subject. The subjects are listed alphabetically. If I go ahead and click on View All Subjects, you'll note that I get a view of all the different subjects that are available to me in an A to Z sort. I can do a numerical sort, which will sort them by the number of databases available by subject. And if I scroll down, I can see that I can go to the next page when I run out of the list alphabetically. I am looking for the subject literature, so I'm going to browse to literature and writing. Go ahead and click on that subject, and I now have a list of 66 databases that will address the topic of literature in some way. Note that on the left-hand side of the screen, I have a faceted list of subjects which provides me with a list of related subjects that might help me with further narrowing my search. Next, let's take a look at databases by type. In this scenario, I would like to find an encyclopedia so that I can get more background information on the author of interest for me, Edgar Allan Poe. So I will move down to the databases by type area. I don't see encyclopedia listed in the alphabetical first four here listed, so I'll go ahead and view all types, and I see that shortly down the list I find encyclopedias. I can go ahead and click on encyclopedias, and I can begin to look at a list of different types of encyclopedias, including Britannica, Britannica School, Britannica Middle. I would like to find something that has more of an academic overview of Poe. So I have the more general and uh, sophisticated Encyclopedia Britannica Online. I can go ahead and click on Encyclopedia Britannica Online, search for Poe, and get that background article and information I need on Edgar Allan Poe. Next, we'll take a look at using the Galileo Search database search. If I scroll down the page below the databases by subject and databases by type area, I see here that I can search Galileo databases by subject, type, or name. This is not to be confused with the Discover search, which allows you to search most Galileo content in a single place. This search here is designed specifically to help you search for databases. I'm going to go ahead and search using the scenario that my professor uh, said I should be able to find articles that I need for my research in the database Literary Reference Center. So I'll go ahead and type that database in by name, Literary Reference Center, click search, and I see that I find here Literary Reference Center Plus where I can go and find more information. You see that it gives me a short description of the database uh, in any list of databases provided to me, I can go into the More Info area and see a larger description uh, of the database. And if I would like to have a direct link to the database that prevents me from having to go through the Galileo portal, I can click on the Express link, copy that link, and use that link to access the database later. 
Another scenario is that I might just want to browse the different databases that are available on the topic of biology. I can go into the databases search and just overstrike my current literary reference center search and search for resources that will provide me with information about biology. So I find here things like the Biology eSkeletons Project, Biological Sciences Database, and other biology resources. Even with a powerful search tool available, sometimes we just want to browse. Galileo Search provides a means to browse all the databases available to you in the All Databases area. By clicking on All Databases, I create a list of databases A to Z. Also, just for note here, if you're searching for a database, the most popular databases at your institution have been added to the In the Spotlight area so that you can find a database for getting started quickly and easily. Galileo Search provides new, easy-to-use lists of resources, a new database search, the Spotlight area, and all of these features make it easier to find your research databases.